Hello everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to install Requiem 1.8.1.1 by Zarian and Ogreboss using the Nexus Mod Manager. If this tutorial is well received, and if it is asked for, I can record another tutorial on how to use Mod Organizer, which has a different installation. This tutorial will be split into two parts. The first part will follow the excellent instructions created by Ogreboss available on the Requiem Wiki. A link has been included in the description and I encourage you to open it up and follow along at home. It has a lot of good information that I will not be including in this tutorial. The second part will expand on the basic Requiem installation from part one by adding a few commonly used mods. I want to stress that this tutorial is not on how to mod Skyrim. There are plenty of great tutorials for that already. This is just to show you what to expect when installing mods for Requiem. With that out of the way, Let's begin. We'll start off by downloading the required software. Links will be provided in the video description to each one of these pieces of software. So let's begin with Java. I'm gonna to go to java.com. We will need to download Java 7. Why not Java 8? Because that's what the instructions tell us to do. You have those open, right? So we're going to go to the download button right up here at the top. And right here it wants you to download version 8, which we don't want to do. So down here there's a button that says see all Java downloads. From here, I can go to this link. It says Java 7. Where can I get it? And then right here in the middle it says Java 7 downloads. Again, this link will be available directly. From here, I'm going to choose the one that's appropriate for my Windows installation. For me, it's 64-bit. For you, it may be 32-bit. When Java has completed its download, we can go ahead and run it. I'm going to hit Next. Now, I already have it installed, but I'm going to reinstall it just for demonstration purposes. Did you know that Java has been installed on 3 billion devices? If not, now you do. All right, I have successfully installed Java. With Java done, we will now download the Skyrim Script Extender, or SCSI for short. So, we're gonna go to Google and type in Skyrim Script, and there it is, Extender. And it's that first link right there. From here, I'm going to download the installer. And it's right there. I'm gonna click on that and run it. It's going to hopefully find your installation directory. If not, you will have to provide it. Mine is in the C drive. I hit next a few times and it's installed. Finally, we're gonna download the Nexus Mod Manager, which we will then use to install our mods. So. Back up to Google again, we're going to go Nexus Mod Manager. Okay, from here, I'm going to click on the install Nexus Mod Manager 52.3 or whatever the current version is at the time of this, at uh, the time you watched this video. And then right here, it's going to give me the option to download based on my operating system. Hopefully you're not using XP. If you are, you should consider upgrading. All right, we're gonna click on the download button here for Windows 8, which is what I'm using, Windows 7 if you're using it. At this point, yeah, you will need account. So I'm gonna log into my existing account. Okay, and let's try this again. Okay, and it's gone ahead and started the download. I'm now going to run the program. Now, I already have Nexus Mod Manager 
on this computer. So I'm going to be installing it to a new location on my uh, SSD I use for recording. So I'm going to choose that there. Once it's done installing, we're going, we want to launch it. At this point, if you didn't already have it installed, you're going to see a screen that looks something like this. It's going to start scanning for your games. So there's Skyrim. I already found it. Once it found, once it finds that one, I'm going to hit stop searching, and then OK. At that point, you will then see this, and I can launch into the Nexus Mod Manager. At this point, it's going to give you some sort of category setup. You can do that if you want. I don't. I usually use my own categories. So at this point, you can see I have a new installation of Skyrim. Just the default stuff is installed. I have no mods. Let's change that. The first mod we're going to install is a required mod called Sky UI. So once again, back to Google. And the first link here is Sky UI at Skyrim Nexus. Go to Files, find the one I want to download, and start the download. This requires Skyrim Script Extender, which we already installed in a previous step, so I will continue with my download. When you first open it up, it might look something like this. What I like to do is highlight this little download manager at the bottom, and then pin this to the screen. That way I can watch how it downloads. Once it's done, you should see the mod appear here. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to install it. It says the mod was successfully activated. And you can see here in my load order, it has been added. Next, let's download Requiem. So I'm going to go to the little search window here, or you can go to Google. I'm going to type Requiem. I'm going to click this, and if you haven't already, be sure to endorse it. I'm going to click Files. I'm going to find this here. This version will probably change depending on when you go about doing this installation. So you'll have to choose whatever your version is. Please note that there could be differences by the time you watch this video, so I highly recommend again to look at the instructions. So I will now download with the manager. This requires Sky UI and Skyrim Script Extender. I will now continue with my download. And you can see it start to download here. This download may take a while. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and resume it when it's done. Okay, so the mod has been uh, downloaded and is being added to the manager. If I click on the Mods tab, I will see it here. However, it still says it's downloading here. I'm just going to be patient and wait for it to hopefully change. Okay, I'm done being patient. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to hit the Install button. At this point, it's going to prepare the mod. Now, depending on where you downloaded this, this could take a while. I have it downloaded onto an SSD. Um, that's actually different than the install directory for Skyrim, which is on another SSD. So this may be a little bit faster uh, than you may see. Of course, you actually could have a faster SSD than me, and then in which case it would be, uh, it'd be slower. So. And now it's going to install the mod. Okay, at the end of the installation, it's going to ask us to overwrite a couple files from the vanilla installation. I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to all. The mod has successfully activated. And that's what we want to see. At this point, we now need to run the Requifier Java program. 
I apologize, I can't pronounce it. So, that was installed in your Skyrim data directory. So for there, I'm going to browse there. So, open up Explorer, go to the C drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, Data, Skyproc Patchers. Requiem. In here, you're going to have two options. One's called Admin Execute and Requitificator. Now, you can execute whatever one you want to do. The description of what these do are described in the installation documents, so I highly encourage you to read it. However, the short version is, if you're an admin, and space is maybe uh, a concern to you, I would execute this. If space isn't a big problem, or maybe you don't have admin privileges to your computer, then you might want to use this. Since I have admin privileges to my computer, and space kind of is a concern, I'm just going to go ahead and execute this one. To do so, I'm going to right click and select Run as Administrator. This part is important. Okay, it says Java was found, and it started the program. You'll get a message here. It says, as explained in the online installation guide, this mod needs to generate links, either symbolic or hard, to overcome Skyrim's gray face bug. Again, please read the documentation. I now need to provide the location of my Skyrim installation. So I'm going to go to my local disk, program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, Data. I'm going to hit Open. If it worked, you should see something like this. If it gives you an error saying it could not find the Requiem uh, mod file, then you chose the wrong folder. And try again. At this point, I'm going to click the Patch button. And it's going to start patching based on the mods that I have listed. Now, because this is a new installation, the amount of mods present are, well, none, but there are still some files in that folder. So this won't take a lot of time. Now, if you have a lot of mods, this will take a bit longer. Okay, that is completed. It's important to note that if I were to add mods later, which I will do in the next part, I would need to rerun this program so that it can take those new mods into consideration. Now that it is completed, I want you to note that there is no Requiem for the Indifferent mod attached to this load order. That is because Nexus Mod Manager was opened before it was created. So it doesn't know it's there. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I can close this too. And I'm going to reload the mod manager. And there it is, Requiem for the Indifferent. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this. I'm gonna make sure my load order looks correct. Requiem should be at the end, except for the Indifferent, which should be at the very end. And all the rest of these uh, can be before Requiem. At this point, I can go to launch SCSI, either through here, maybe through the shortcut it made. I'm going to launch it here. Now, I have this loading up in a window for demonstration purposes. Normally, I would run it at a full screen. So if it's a little bit choppy, that's just because uh, I don't think Bandicam likes to record you know, DirectX games in a window with the desktop in the background or something to that effect. So at this point, I can click New, and we'll see if it works. Ah, uh, the classic intro. <laughs> I haven't seen this in a long time. OK. 
Okay, and if it worked, we should have our fancy new armor, which we have. So, congratulations. Hopefully you're seeing the same thing on your end, and you have completed the installation of Requiem. It is a great mod, and I hope you have a lot of fun with it. This concludes part one of the installation, which gives us our basic Requiem installation. The next part will go in and we will add a few mods to this installation. So I'll see you then. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that infantry.